whole world must see uh, that uh, Israel uh, must exist and has a right to exist and is one of the great outposts of democracy in the world. My Jewish brothers and sisters said to me amid anti-Semitism anywhere, we don't need your support. We have enough Jewish power to deal with this problem ourselves. I would still take a stand against anti-Semitism because it's wrong, it's unjust, and it's evil. If my Catholic brothers and sisters said to me, amid bigotry toward Catholics, we don't need your support in this because we have enough Catholic power to deal with it, I would still take a stand against bigotry toward Catholics because it is wrong, it is evil, and it is unjust. When I was the rabbi of the Jewish community in Berlin under the Hitler regime, I learned many things. The most important thing that I learned in my life, and under those tragic circumstances, is that bigotry and hatred are not the most urgent problems, the most urgent, the most disgraceful, the most shameful, and the most tragic problem is silence a great people. A great people which had created a great civilization had become a nation of silent onlookers. They remained silent in the face of hate, in the face of brutality, and in the face of mass murder. Perhaps if there had been a broader understanding of the uses of nonviolent direct action in Germany when Hitler was rising and consolidating his power, the brutal extermination of six million Jews and millions of other war dead might have been averted and Germany might never have become totalitarian if Protestants and Catholics had engaged in nonviolent direct action and had made the oppression of the Jews our very own oppression and had come into the streets beside the Jew to scrub the sidewalks and had Gentiles worn the stigmatizing yellow armbands by the millions a unique form of mass resistance to the Nazi regime might have developed. I'm fully aware. <laughs> I'm fully aware of the terror, the intimidation, the brutality and the force the fascists were so quick to use. But I'm also aware that in the South today, some races of the same mentality have been curbed in their resistance to nonviolent action when practiced on a mass scale. Today, people all over the world should be engaging in mass action to protest anti-Semitism in the Soviet Union. <laughs> that is a dangerous silence today which unintentionally encourages evil to flourish. Was Albert Einstein right when he said, the world is in greater peril from those who tolerate evil than from those who actively commit it? Did not President Kennedy warn that those who do nothing are inviting shame as well as violence? Will the nation ever forget the searing impact Rabbi Yochum Prince's admir admonition as he spoke at the March on Washington in 1963. When I was a rabbi of the Jewish community in Berlin under the Hitler regime, I learned many things. The most important thing that I learned in my life and under tragic circumstances is that bigotry and hatred are not the most urgent problem the most urgent, the most disgraceful, the most shameful, and the most tragic problem is silence. 
a great people which had created a great civilization, had become a nation of silent onlookers. They remained silent in the face of hate, in the face of brutality, and in the face of mass murder.